What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. I already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today, man, the voice drop this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and today ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So the rapper Jay, who was caught with Brooklyn Force in the morning airport, speaks out at the Brooklyn Force flew to New York to hang out with another dude. He said, I'm not in a relationship either. Just this dude right here. Speaks out at the Brooklyn Force flew to New York to hang out with another dude. I think this might be, you know, just a friend. You feel me? Like, and if it's not, that's my bad. But, you know, it's given just a friend. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. I think he family. I think he playing for this team. I could be wrong. I don't know, man. And I don't know why these niggas is doing this chalk dust line. You know what I'm saying? I could play. I could play. What's that childhood game we used to play, y'all? Hopscotch? It's like I could hopscotch on these niggas' heads and shit. Like, I don't understand why the fuck they do that shit. It look like a crime scene. But anyway, you know how they sketch out the body of a crime scene? I don't understand it. But this definitely doesn't look like they, like, on some other shit. Unless we gonna see something. Let's see. Dude, he said, I'm not in a relationship either, just to clear that up too. Oh, LOL. Okay. Y'all can start with that ish. Okay. No disrespect, but stop dragging that situation. Okay. Brooklyn and me are not dating. Leave her alone and leave me alone oh, with shit. that ish. Someone asked, are you friends with Jay Sinkle? He responded, I don't know why bro kept saying we was homies, oh. which he's from. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if they was dating at one point and they fell out. I don't know if, you know, they just fuck around from time to time. I don't know what the deal is, but they was definitely spotted out together, holding hands and shit like that. And he was definitely caught in one of her videos, right? So you let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do y'all think he just trying to throw us off, you know, throw us off the scent, throw us off what's really going on and they really is talking? Or do you think they fell out? Let me know in the comment section down below. Or do y'all feel like, hey, he can talk to whoever you want to talk to? She can talk to whoever she want to talk to because they both single, but they fuck around from time to time when they do link up. That's possible too. Let me know how y'all feel. So he says, I don't know why bro kept saying we was homies. He probably just wanted to make Brooklyn look bad or something, but nah, we not homies and never was homies. I seen bro in person two times in my whole life. That's crazy. And a lot of people follow people who they really don't know like that. Like, it doesn't take much to get a follow from somebody, especially if y'all are like in the same lane. They both do music and the type of music they, th that they do is kind of similar. I'm not going to lie, you know. So it says we was cool, but niggas was not homies. Niggas try to make shit something it's not. So when he says we was cool, I guess they mean like, all right, we chopped it up, saw him twice. It was no bad blood. We was cordial. We was cool, you know, on that type of level. But we was never friends. You can't call somebody a friend or a homie when you just saw him two times. You just met him in person two times. So I definitely understand where this guy is coming from. Like, nigga, we was cool. We ain't had no beef. Like, we, we seen each other twice. But, nigga, we seen each other twice. How can you be friends with somebody that you seen twice? How do I owe loyalty, loyalty to a nigga who I seen twice. I'm not supposed to fuck your bitch and I only seen you twice. I don't know you like that, my nigga. You know, so I feel him. <clears throat> so he says, uh, let's see, trying to make something, make shit something it's not. This is my first and last time saying anything about the situation. That's crazy because I always wondered if he was going to come out and say something about the situation. I guess he finally is because all the DMs and people in his live streams and shit like that who be asking what's going on with the situation with Brooklyn. But anyway, guys, let's see. Talking about Justin, he probably just wanted to make Brooklyn look bad or something. But now nah, we was not homies and never was homies. I've seen bro in person two times in my whole life. Yeah, we that's was crazy. Cool, but dudes was not homies. Dude tried to make shit look something is not. This my first the last time saying anything about this situation though now when joelle first started talking to asia she had a daughter these niggas here bro i cannot take joelle serious at all anymore after he said that was it lauren who did voodoo on him so he could fall in another bitch pussy i don't know what it was but joelle is on some fuck shit even though he be saying like i don't do the drama i don't be going live and doing this and being extra and putting my business out there and now he putting all his business out there but anyway 
by the name Paris from a previous relationship. And in the beginning, Asia was hosting Paris to her social media and she was with her. But then people started sending me receipts saying that Paris was with her aunt more and that the aunt could possibly be the main guardian. Now, the only reason why I'm speaking on this is because the aunt did speak out about this publicly on a public platform after she posted. Try to clear this up short for y'all because it's really a long story. Paris is happy and that's all that matters. A video with a caption that says, Auntie that wanted a daughter, niece that turned into Auntie's daughter. Which a lot of people in the comments of that video was wondering, where is her real mom, which is Asia? And here's what the aunt had to say. What? Okay, so I see a lot of you guys want to know who Paris is talking about when she says two moms. But she's talking about me and her other Annie. We are her Annie's, but we're also her moms. So, and when I say her other Annie, I mean my girlfriend. Yes. So, and no, we did not make we her do call this us together. moms. Okay. No, we did not ask her to. It was something that she asked us if she could call us mom, and it was right. such an emotional moment. We're like, you can call us whatever you Fuck want. Fuck is squeaking like, in the background. Why would we tell her no? Yeah, and like ever since then, like the baby's been, been raising since a baby. That's been her go-to. We are her moms. I'm the best auntie mama out here. Okay. If you don't like it, we're going to fight back. And um, no, her mom and dad is not dead. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Yes, she do know who her mom and dad is. She yes, do. she do. Look like her nose is a little... I'm about to say stretched out. <laughs> Look like her nose a little stressed out from the fucking heavy ass glasses. <laughs> Did she see them? Yes. yes. Did she stay with them? No. But we, me and Andy, been doing this a lot. So what's she saying? Is she saying like she raising the kid? Like she's parenting the kid with her girlfriend? Is that what she's saying? Been doing this. We been. We ain't never asked for help. Wait, Blueface did release a new song called Baby Blueface, Mama Drama baby. starring Christian Rock and their new... I've been seeing so much shit about this nigga Blueface, bro. But I just really... Y'all be wanting me to, like, react to some of Blueface and Krishan. Like, they are so toxic to me, y'all, that I don't even want to cover their bullshit, bro. It's just gonna piss me off, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I just feel like it's not even worth covering or reacting to they bullshit, man. Because they shit been toxic. I don't want to promote that toxic shit, man. Like, of course, it's a lot of toxicity that happens that I react to, right? A lot of drama. But Krishan and Blueface is on a whole nother level. They breaking the scale, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't. I can't. I can't. I won't. I just, you know, like... Of course, I'm going to react to it a little bit because it's in this, it's in this video, but... Y'all already know, man. Like, I'm not keeping up with they bullshit, man. We already know they shit toxic as fuck. I feel bad for the kid. You know, like, I can only wish the kid the best. I'm praying for the kid. Because the kid is already set up for failure. You know, like... I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. <clears throat> I love Krishan Rock, but sis didn't have to look like somebody baby mama in the video. Sis could have put herself together just a little bit. Also, in his new song, he responded to Lil Baby. And Lil Baby's song, he said, put a hundred up a million times. F is a blue face. And blue face responded. Lil Baby thought he knew no. <laughs> How you let another grown man fill up on your booty? Couldn't be me, boy. I am not a hoochie. I know. Nah, hell no. Nah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> This nigga said, Lil Baby thought he knew me. How you let another grown man fill up on your booty? Not only that, an old ass white grown man, fam. That's tough. He never gonna live this shit down. And I, be I, I honestly believe that these pictures and the shit that's coming out with him, like, on some gay shit, right? Like, I always say nothing wrong with being gay. I love women. Okay, I'm gay as shit. So if that's his truth, that's his truth. But I honestly believe that this is part of his humi hum humiliation ritual. And all of these niggas, you'll see every celebrity. And damn near every influencer too goes through a humiliation ritual, right? <laughs> and this, I mean, it, is, it looks very, very bad. It looks very, very bad on, on baby, Lil Baby's part. So, hey, it is what it is. That was a good line. I'm not going to lie to you, Blueface. He definitely came with some shit. Um, F is a Blueface. And Blueface responded. Oh, baby, thought he knew no. <laughs> How you let another grown man fill up on your booty? Couldn't be me. Boy, I am not a hoochie. I know I just... <laughs> that nigga said, boy, I am not a hoochie. That's tough. Point dealing with Blueface and Kushan, nothing is supposed That's to tough. surprise me. But this T right here surprised me. Yeah, yo, did you see when I spilled the beans on Tasha K? You know, I let everybody know it was a situation. Did you, did you check that out? Tasha. Tasha don't want to tell nobody because the African husband might have a problem. But it was, you know, it was a quick little thing thing. It wasn't nothing serious. A quick little thing thing. Wait, you know. Wait, you smashed Tasha K? Yo, listen, Ack, I'm going to get back with you. <laughs> Yo, Wag 100 said he smashed Tasha K. I mean, like... 
gonna be honest, man. Like, who really gives a damn who smashes who? All right, she got a husband. That don't stop nobody from fucking. I know that sounds terrible, guys. But at the end of the day, a woman going to do what she going to do. A man's going to do whatever he want to do. Not saying it is right, especially if you're trying to be in a monogamous relationship or marriage or whatever it is. But if people are not getting what they want in a relationship, they're going to go seek it elsewhere, point blank, period. Some women, you know, just want a safety blanket, a safety net. And also, got to take this with a grain of salt. There's no really evidence that Wack has, not that I know of. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be seeing any receipts here. He already trying to get off the phone, right? <laughs> but all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, guys, sometimes women just want a safety net and they going to fuck around with who they want to fuck around with, right? They want to marry the safe option and have fun with, you know, the nigga that she can't get no commitment from and who she wanted to have that marriage with. Right. So sometimes that's the case. I'm not saying that's the case in this case, but like I said, for a man or a woman to go outside of their relationship, you know, it's never right. But obviously they are missing something that that partner is not giving them in a relationship or they just immature as fuck. And they should have never just chose to be monogamous with somebody if they weren't about that life, you know. But let me know how y'all feel. You know, it was a quick little thing, thing. It wasn't nothing serious. Little... I, I don't put nothing past nobody, though. I ain't gonna lie. Thing, thing. Wait, <clears> you know. Wait, you smashed Tasha K? Yo, listen, Ack, I'm gonna get back with you. I gotta take this buff. Uh... You can't just say that shit and then try to slide off the phone and shit, nigga. That's what really made me think, I don't know, bro. I think you just talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Do you guys really think that Wack 100 smashed Tasha K? Anything is possible. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to put that on her because that's not fair to put that on her. You know, all I'm saying is just in general, if somebody is not getting their needs met, especially with women, if they're not getting their emotional needs met, they going to go seek that out in another nigga. Point blank, period. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend today. Ain't your mom and today, Uncle Joe. He's still a motherfreaking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.